What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition program with us TV. This is part of our C Sharp course where we're covering how to create a full contact management system. Okay. Yeah, in C Sharp. Now the system of course will be powered by MS Access as the backend and it's going to have several functionalities which we've already explored. One of the functionalities that it will have, of course, is that users will be able to export the or back up the contacts of course to an excel okay yeah so all you need to do is to click the export to excel and then of course the contacts will be exported in fact you can see right here it's asking me whether i want to replace the existing excel file with the new one i'll click yes okay and does it success it's already backed them up so if I come right here to my contact manager, I just need to go over to my bin slash debug. Then I have right here contacts. Okay. You can see the preview right here. And in fact, you can open the Excel file. So for example, if you want to print, this is, would be a perfect way of printing the list. Okay. You'd go over and print for the Excel rather than from the app itself. So you can see we have this beautiful uh, Excel file right here. So we're going to see how to create this one programmatically with the C sharp code. Okay. Yeah. This would be a very good way of backing up your contacts so that you can maybe send that Excel file to your email or something like that or move it to another computer. So guys, that is it. That's the role for this particular class, basically exporting to Excel. We're not using any third party library. We're just going to do use the system, uh, the classes provided to us. Okay, C sharp APIs to do that one. So let's start. Okay, so in our Visual Studio, all we need to do is, of course, come over to our common. Now, in the common, this is where we're going to have classes which are common to all other classes, basically our utility classes. The first one was our page generator, which we looked at in the previous class. Then go add a new class. I've called mine the utils. This utils is the class that will be responsible for exporting to Excel. Just click class and then name it whatever you like. I've named mine the utils.cs. Okay. So before we proceed, over to write the code for that particular class we will need to add some apis right here okay so you can see we have this system microsoft.office.interrupt.excel now this is the dll that we need to add so come right here and reference right here okay and then you can search it right here if your visual studio cannot automatically add it for you you can just come and manually add it. So Microsoft, let me search using the interop. So interop Microsoft, do, yeah, this one. All you need to do is just check it, okay? Check it, microsoft.office.interop.excel. Then click OK. It will be added, okay? It's DLL reference will be added right here under the references. Then of course you all you then need to do is to just rebuild your project and then you are good to go. So let's proceed and write our code. So using system dot data, then using system dot drawing, then using system dot reflection, then using contact manager dot data dot model, then using office excel equal to Microsoft dot office dot interrupt dot excel, then namespace contact manager dot common then class utils okay so we've created our utils class we've added our using statements now uh, among them include of course our microsoft.office.interop.excel okay so we've added it right as a dependency and these are namespace these are class so we're going to create a method which is going to be responsible for turning a list of contacts into a data set so we come and say public static data set get data set then list of contacts then we come and say data set ds equal to new data set then 
data table dt equal to new data table then dt dot columns dot add id then dt dot columns dot add name then dt dot columns dot add phone one then dt dot columns dot add phone two then dt dot columns dot add email then dt dot columns dot add remarks then you come and say for each contact c in contacts then we come and say dt dot rows dot add c dot id dot to string c dot name c dot phone one c dot phone two c dot email and c dot remarks then dt dot table name equal to contacts then ds dot tables dot add dt then return ds okay so what have we done right here well what we've done is that we've created a simple helper method which will receive a list of contact objects and then turn it into a data set okay so it's a static method it's just a helper method we start by instantiating our data set as well as our data table then add the columns of our data table then loop through our list and add of course the items in our list as the rows of our data table then of course add the data table to our data set and that's it that's our method okay so let me just start by warning you guys that the method we're going to write is quite a long method but it's the method that is going to allow us to export that beautiful excel file okay to export our contacts into that beautiful excel file that we've just seen okay so it's a long method let's cut start it right here it will it is the method that is responsible for exporting of course our excel exporting our data from database of course to our excel okay so we're going to create of course a method to export our data set into an excel file at a specified path so we come and say public static string then export to excel then we are going to receive a data set object as well as the path to export to then we do it in a try catch block const int equal to int head dal length equal to 3 then missing default equal to missing dot value then string path plus equal to at slash contacts plus dot xlsx then you're going to prepare representation of our microsoft excel application using the office excel data application interface so we come and say office excel data application excel app equal to new office excel data application then of course we're going to add a workbook to our excel okay using the add method of our excel app dot workbooks collection so we come and say office excel dot workbook excel workbook equal to excel app dot workbooks dot add then one okay so in this case what we've done right here we've first started by specifying creating this static method which is going to be responsible for exporting to excel now whatever we're going to export is just a data set okay so for example if you are going to have some generic list like a list of contact objects or any other objects of course all you need to do is to call the get data set to convert it into a data set then once we have that data set ready we can come and pass it to this particular method okay so we're also specifying the path onto which that excel file will be exported like in our case you can say it's this debug folder the name will be the contacts right here so we come at slash contacts dot xlsx okay so the string path right here which will be passed we're going to append this one to it so contacts dot xlsx as you can see right here this will be the name of the excel file right there okay then we come we instantiate our application okay office excel dot application then of course we're going to add our workbook so excel app dot workbooks dot add one let's continue so 
we're going to loop of course through our data tables in our data set so we come and say for each data table dt in ds dot tables then you're going to say we're going to create our excel worksheet okay for every iteration so office excel dot worksheet excel worksheet equal to excel workbook dot sheets dot add then default then excel workbook dot sheets then excel workbook dot sheets dot count then one then default then we're going to give our worksheet a name okay based on our data table so we'll come and say excel worksheet dot name equal to dt dot table name then we're going to loop through all of course our columns in our current data table so for int i equal to zero i is less than dt dot columns dot count i plus plus then we're going to write our column name so excel worksheet dot cells okay int header length plus one then i plus one then equal to dt dot columns dot column name dot to upper then we're going to loop through our rows in our current data table so for int m equal to zero m is less than dt dot rows dot count then m plus plus then we're going to write our row cells for each row so we come and say for int n equal to zero n is less than dt dot columns dot count and plus plus then for int column equal to n plus one then var in row equal to in header length plus two plus m then excel worksheet dot cells then in row then in column equal to dt dot rows m plus item array n dot to string then if m modulus two equal to zero then excel worksheet dot range a plus in row then g plus in row then dot interior dot color then color translator dot from html then we pass that color okay a reddish color okay so that's what we've done right there let's continue so we're going to have our excel header so office excel dot range then cell range equal to of excel worksheet dot range a1 g3 then cell range dot merge false then cell range dot interior dot color color dot white then cell range dot font dot color equal to color dot gray then cell range dot horizontal alignment equal to office excel okay then align center then cell range dot vertical alignment equal to office excel okay v vertical alignment center then cell range dot font dot size equal 26 then excel worksheet dot cells one one equal to your contacts then we're going to style our table column names so cell range equal to excel worksheet dot range f4 then g4 then cell range dot font dot bold equal to true then cell range dot font dot color equal to color translator dot to ole then color dot white then cell range dot interior dot color equal to color translator dot from html then we pass the html code then excel worksheet dot range f4 dot entire column dot horizontal alignment equal to office excel dot hrlign okay align right then excel dot range f5 dot entire column dot number format equal to 0 0.00 then excel worksheet dot columns dot auto fit okay let's proceed so we're going to delete the first page so excel app dot display alerts equal to false then office excel dot worksheet then last worksheet equal to office excel dot worksheet then excel workbook dot worksheets one 
then last worksheet dot delete then excel app dot display alerts equal to true then we're going to set our default page so var worksheet equal to excel workbook dot sheets one as office excel worksheet then if worksheet is not equal to null then worksheet dot activate else return null worksheet excel workbook dot save us then string path then default then default okay we pass those parameters then office excel dot save us access mode dot no change then excel workbook dot close we close it to release the resources then excel app dot quit and then we return success okay so we're going to catch any exception if we have any and then return the exception message okay which will be rendered at runtime then that's it so guys a very long method right there this method is going to allow us of course to convert a data set of course into an excel okay so you can simply go into our website and copy the code and then you can actually reuse it okay so yeah it's a very long method right there but then we've of course encapsulated it inside this utils class you can just go copy the method and that's it you're good to go with it so guys that's it that's how we're going to export of course into excel right there from our data set you can export data from any database of course to excel okay so this method will also be reusing it i'll also be reusing it myself in various projects which we're going to be developing now that's it guys for today if you like the video please share it and also make sure you give subscribe to our channel program users tv also check our website campusha.info you'll find the source code right there okay and want to make sure that you subscribe because you're doing these courses on a daily basis so they are full courses so please make sure you subscribe leave us a comment if you have any question otherwise take care i'll catch you in the next class